So right now we are able to add our to do's eggs, banana, bread, etc. But now let's pause and look at the application. This is the header. This is the one, this is a component which could be a header, it could have more information, uh, company logo, etc. So to me, that is a header component which will mostly be dictated by the marketing team. This is where the main functionality is happening. We are, so this could be a component which can, which can be called something like inputting or adding the to-do. And this is the presentation of the to-do item. So, he, uh, so right now this part is just single line, this dot state dot items or two string, but slowly it will evolve into its own thing. We should be able to sort the items alphabetically. We should be able to mark something as done. We should start it. We should export the result and whatnot. So it's better to give this area, which is displaying the to-do list, its own component. And that is where React.js shines a lot. It lets us build a small modular components. So let's try to build a component. So here I'm going to close the tab and I'm going to create a, a new file called display list. So we'll call this component display list component. So display list, the so name of the file will be display list JSX. Okay. And then it will, so I will copy the first four lines from uh, the main application app because it's very similar. So here, instead of app, we'll need to change it to display list. And obviously we need to have the closing curly. And then here we need to do render. And here we'll say return dev. This is display list. And coming back to the main app, the the app.jsx, we need to import it. So we'll do import display list from this playlist. So let's try to use it. Let's see how it would look if we use it. So we can go to the bottom of the screen and here we will add display list. Let's save it. Oh, that's because here I have a typo. Let's try to fix it. And let's try to do a hard refresh. And then we see this is display list. So to this display list, now let's try to build on top of it. Like what do we need to do? So to, to this display list, we need to pass the items. So we'll pass items is equal to this dot state dot items. And now we can delete these lines. Uh, so we are passing items to display list, but display list is not making use of the items. So here in the display list, what we can do is we can split the div and then we can display the same to-do list as this dot props dot items dot to a string. So here the for display list, if you look at display list component is not maintaining the state of the items, but it is getting the items as an input. So anything that display list is receiving from another component, it can access these items as this dot props. So React just provides two mechanisms by which a component can access dynamic values. One is this dot props, which is some values being passed to this component. And then this dot state means that this component has directly access to manipulate the value, manipulate the state of uh, uh, that uh, 
item. So here right now we have this dot props items. So if you put eggs, banana, bread. So it's, it's, it's looking good and it is doing exactly the same thing what we were doing before, except that now the difference is that we have a brand new component and this functionality has, the display functionality has been taken away from app.jsx, so which is a good thing. So right now we are displaying um, all the uh, three uh, to do using uh, div. So let's switch to UL. So we'll do UL here. And then we need to put all of them under li. But in order to do that, we need to iterate over the item. So we will do this dot props dot items. And rather than to a string, what we can do this dot string to items dot map. Item comma i. And remember here, we are, by being in the curly braces, we are in the JavaScript land. So we can use all the JavaScript features and that's exactly what we are doing. So we'll do return li item. A parenthesis as well, missing here, it means two parentheses. The moment I put the parenthesis, now it's working. So now we can see that uh, all the items are being displayed using li. However, now something new has come up in the console. Check each key in an array and iteration should have a unique key. So anytime we are displaying items like this in ul li, React.js would like to know oh, how do I know that this item is same or not. So we need to provide key to li. So in this case, all we can do is go to li, put key, and we are passing the key attribute as item name itself. And let's do a refresh. We'll do eggs, bread, banana, and now we don't see any warning.